Hi, everybody. So good to be with you once again. Chaplain Bert Campbell here, and I'm delighted to spend these next few moments with you as we turn to the Lord in prayer, as we look to his word, knowing that there is encouragement and strength to be found for right now today. And if that's what you need, this is a good moment for you. That's exactly what we're going to find as we come before the Lord with open hearts. Thanks for tuning in for this moment here together. The scripture verse I want to share with you today comes from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is a collection of sayings, general principles for life, things that uh, are are wisdom for us that generally prove to be true, and uh, we are meant to read them with this understanding that if we orient our lives according to the wisdom found in Proverbs, we're very likely then to experience their benefit and blessing from God. As such, they don't always uh, run in a particular theme. Sometimes they're just thought after thought after thought all run together. It's not a bad idea to read a proverb or two every day and just meditate on it and allow God to use that principle to lead us, direct us, as we look for ways to put it into practice. Today's proverb is just like that, and it has to do with friendship. Do you have good friends? I hope you do. Sometimes the members of our family are close to us like a friend, and vice versa. Sometimes our friends are close to us like a member of our family. That's how love is supposed to be. One of the things that I'm very grateful for here at Friendship Village is overwhelmingly among both the staff and the residents, there is this tremendous sense of camaraderie. We look out for one another. We care for one another. I recently was spending a few moments with um, a person in grief. They re recently lost their spouse, and they were so grateful for the large stack of cards that they had received within just hours and days of their spouse passing, and the encouragement that they found, the way people were looking out for them, they were very, very grateful. And that's just one instance, uh, one instance of the kind of thing that happens here over and over and over again, whether that be helping each other in times of grief or helping to serve one another in some capacity. I'm so grateful that among both the residents and the staff here at Friendship Village, we hold on to that value. And I believe it's ultimately because we look to put the Lord first in our organization in who we are as a community. You know, we have a vision statement here, uh, a mission statement rather, that says guided by biblical values that honor Jesus Christ. We want to provide a warm, loving, safe, secure environment that cares for the physical, spiritual, and emotional needs of all. And that undercurrent serves to, uh, just about every area of, uh, that we do doesn't mean we're perfect in everything we do, but when we're not, we try to figure that out. We try to look for ways to improve. But all that to say, I believe it's because of those biblical values, which really, when it boils down to it, the ultimate supreme biblical value is love, loyalty, friendship. And as we pursue that with the Lord and with one another, I think it sets our community apart from many, many others. Keep that thought in mind, the importance of sharing in that, that shared value of love and respect and caring for one another as we consider Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 17. It says this, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. I want that to be true of me. Part of my goals in this new year is to ask the Lord, help me to, do, help me to be kinder, help me to be more compassionate, help me to own up to faults and mistakes and be quick to correct them. I want to walk with a heart of grace and compassion toward others. I really hope that's really all of our prayer. Because a friend loves at all times. It doesn't mean that a friend agrees with us at all times. It doesn't mean that a friend appreciates everything we say and do at all times or us, them. There is room among friends to disagree, to have different points of view. But regardless of those differences of perspective, deep down we hold on to an unchanging love. There are all kinds of people that I love with all my heart all my soul, all my strength, that I would do anything I could to serve them, 
doesn't mean that I always agree with them. That includes people in my family. It includes people outside my family. I might have a different point of view, but that point of view and that area of difference, I do not allow to become an infringement on my commitment, on my loyalty, on my love. And with God's help, I endeavor to hold on to that. I don't know that I could do that without his help. I don't even know that I always get it right, but that's my heart. That's what I want to do. And I want to offer that to all of us today, that a friend loves at all times. Who needs to know about your love today? Who's going through a challenging time? Maybe there's even someone you've had a little bit of a clash with. It's okay to say, you know what? I know we don't agree about this and that, but I love you and I'm committed to you. And that commit, uh, that, that leads us then to the second half of this this verse, this other area of commitment, that a brother is born for a time of adversity. In other words, when times get tough, they don't take off. They stick with it. They don't lose heart along the way. And if you're in a season where you need a helping hand, a true brother, a true sister, a true family member, whether they're one of physical relationship or not, True family are those that will stay committed and faithful, helping us in our time of need, no matter how great the challenge. Which is why I appreciate this village so much. There are so many folks here that do that. I believe God puts those kind of people in our life to help be a demonstration of his love. And if you're looking at your social circle, if you're looking around at the people that you regularly interact and you're thinking, who is the friend that loves at all times? Who is the, my brother, my sister that's been born for the time of adversity? Maybe, maybe it's you. Maybe that's how God wants to use you in this very moment to help make a difference in somebody else. Trusting that as we commit ourselves to serve others, God in his wisdom and in his goodness will bring us the people that we need at the right time as well. Of course, the scripture says there is one who sticks closer than a brother. And that's a reference to the Lord Jesus who loves us at all times, who may not always agree with our decisions, who may want to directly, uh, um, um, want to directly rebuke or challenge us in certain areas. But it's only to improve us. It's only to make, um, make our lives better, to redirect us from that which would be destructive and harmful because he always loves us. And how do we know that he loves us? The scripture says this is how we know that God is love. While we were set while we were yet sinners, God sent his one and only begotten son to die for us, to give his life in exchange for us that we could be free from our sins and know God for ourselves. That is the glorious message of the gospel. On today, Proverbs 17:17 17, 17 gives us both a reminder and an opportunity. It's a reminder that we too are called to love at all times, to be that brother and sister that holds fast in challenging moments. And it also gives us the opportunity to ever be thankful to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for how you show your goodness through the people you put in our lives that enrich our lives all the more. Is there someone that you're thankful for today? Perhaps lift them up to the Lord. Thank God for them. In fact, let's do that together right now. Heavenly Father, we turn to you. We thank you for the truth of the scripture that gives us wisdom, that leads us, that guides us, that directs us, that helps reorient our thinking to that which reflects your heart. Thank you for this reminder today that real love doesn't give up in hard times. That where there is true friendship and true family, that love calls us to stick it through to stand with those in need no matter what comes about. Thank you, Lord, that you show your goodness to us by putting people like that in our lives. Thank you for your strength, your grace, your power that enables us, Lord, to help be that difference for someone else today. We lift up to you those that you've graced us with, Lord, those that have been so kind. We thank you for them. Bless each and every one and help us to serve them well in return. Thank you for how you show us your enduring faithful love through others that touch our lives with your goodness. Thanks for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 
Oh, it's so good to spend this moment with you. My heart is always encouraged just in putting these videos together and sharing the scripture with each one of us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Here at Friendship Village, we work hard to show you these encouraging word videos three times a day. This video will air at 4.30 in the afternoon. It'll repeat at 8 o'clock tonight and then once again 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We do that every day, Monday through Friday. And uh, you could also watch these anytime you want online. Simply go to our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash, then the at symbol, and then uh, FVC Chaplain. And uh, you'll see not only these encouraging word videos under the video tab, but under the live tab, everything we do that's recorded live, from memorials to Sunday services to Bible studies and more, it's all accessible through that page. If you know someone that could be uh, that could be uh, encouraged right now, you know that they're in need. And today's video might help. Perhaps consider sending them the link to today's video if you're watching online. Also online, you can subscribe to these videos by clicking on the circle right here or then on the box below to watch many of the videos in our past history. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.